Welcome back, everybody, to another episode here of the Top 10 Seed Series. Today, ladies and gentlemen, it's such a variety. 10 seeds is so many for me to cram in the, into a video the way I do my videos. So, there is a little bit of starter seeds, there's a little bit of advanced seeds, and there's a little bit of seeds that you probably don't even want to play on, but they look absolutely beautiful. Now, this was recorded in Minecraft Java Edition 1.20.4. Uh, terrain generation should work in Bedrock, but, you know, structures be a little bit different so keep that in mind when you actually go to play it in bedrock now if you guys want to confirm my work if you guys want to make sure there's coordinates or structures these seeds are real go ahead and click the chunk base link chunk base is a seed viewer website that i actually use all the time to find and document my seeds so go ahead click it you'll be able to confirm all my work it goes right to the seed and that's all i got let's get into seed number one alrighty guys coming in at seed number one it's a little bit of a basic one it's a bit easy but nonetheless it's beautiful this is actually a survival island now before a bunch of you get mad in the comments and be like actually the mainland's loaded in it is it's not too far away and you can probably get to it on foot just by running across the icebergs but you are on your own island and it is a really unique one the way these two islands have formed it's like their cliff sides are backwards you do have a cliff right here right but then the opposite side of this side is another cliff now they are connected they do connect with a little bit of land here so it is one island but i guess you could see it as two but you get two massive cliff sides and i don't know i've never really seen a survival island like this before and it really just caught my attention and now my computer's struggling for some reason why do you do this to me computer but either way you get a really really cool survival island seed here now coming in at seed number two ladies and gents this one i aimed for you beginner players this is actually a beautiful seed for beginner players looking to maybe get into building and have a decent area to play survival minecraft you're gonna spawn in and you're gonna notice that it's a beautiful little flat forest biome and it surrounds this awesome little plains biome now this plains biome does give you a little bit of challenge so if you are a new player you're not going to be you know completely overwhelmed but you're not gonna be underwhelmed as well there's gonna be a lot going on but not a lot it's a good balance if you get what i'm saying but you do get this little village with two of the churches which is kind of weird don't really know why that's fun but then just a few blocks away you get one of the coolest pillager outposts i've seen in a while it has so many allays in it look one two three what four chambers of allays right off the bat which is completely unheard of and then if you just fly around you're gonna notice your area is absolutely flat it is perfect for your starting base for your starting village whatever you want to build as a new player now you do get an abandoned village over here but these things aren't as cool I, I get it it is what it is but this seed if you're a beginner player and you're just looking to get into the game for the first time Go ahead, give this one a try, because I promise you, you'll have fun on it. Now, let's go ahead and say seed number one wasn't too survival islandy for you. Well, seed number two might hold that close to your heart. You're going to spawn into this uh, interesting little uh, survival island here. Now, again, I've seen this so many times. The mainland can be loaded in. This is a separate island over here, but maybe it can't. Can it? Maybe it can't. Okay, it can. It can be loaded in if you really try in Java Edition. But either way, you get this cool little survival island. And yeah, I'm cooking in this room. Hold on. I gotta shut a vent. It is killing me. Note to self, if I ever rebuild a studio, make sure there's no vent in it because it gets so hot in the winter. It's insane. But yeah, so the survival island is pretty peaceful. It's not too survival island. You're gonna have trees. You're gonna have a decent area to start off in. But... It is what it is, you know what I mean? You're gonna be okay. It's not extreme, but it's not not extreme. It, it's just a good survival island. See, go ahead, play it, have some fun. I am dying of heat, my God. <laughs> You know, the worst part is the heat's still going. I can still hear the furnace running. God, it's cooking me out. But coming in at seed number four, again, I went back to having a decent little starter seed for you guys. So you guys would be able to play if you're a new player and not have too much of a struggle. If we take a look around, you're going to notice it's a lot of flat land. It is a lot of flat land. But the difference between this one and the last one that we looked at there's a lot of villages you're gonna notice you have a village right here right so you have a basic village to get you started nothing too extreme it's not gonna be insane but then let's say you need a little bit more 
you can just head over to this village over here. Take a look at that. It's nothing. It's actually nothing. There's nothing here. But if we keep flying around, you're going to notice that there's a lot more to this seed. I don't know. Is there another village over here? I feel like there should be a third one. Yeah, right here. What am I talking about? There's a fourth. There's a third and a fourth. You have a village that's much bigger. Check it out. It looks perfect. I love it. Picture it as. But then this one over here is even better. It spawns on the hill of a cherry grove biome with a blacksmith. So what more could you ask for? Now, this seed does take a little bit of exploration to get to all this stuff. And my computer apparently is not loving the fact that I have it open for some reason. Everything runs fine until I go to make a video, right? That, that's how it goes. But if you wanted to take the time to explore it, you're going to notice many villages, some really cool terrain generation in the mangrove biome and in the swamp biome. It is quite a perfect, yeah, it's just a beautiful seed altogether. So if you are a beginning player, this could be a good seed to start out on. I'm just saying. Look at the lag. What is happening? And now I'm destroying your expectations because C number five goes in the complete opposite direction. You're going to notice that you're going to spawn in to a pretty deadly mountain range. And that's kind of why I chose it. This seed might not be the best for beginner players. It might even be kind of difficult for advanced players like me who don't know how to build. But you're going to have stunning mountain ranges right off your spawn point. If you wanted to do something in creative, like maybe a snowy castle type theme, this seed could be the one for you. You have these mountain ranges, right? And take a look at them. They're spawning perfectly. You got a little bubble here, and then you have the big mountain range with a cool little pond in the middle of it. That could be so cool if you put like a ship in it or something. It might not make sense of how it got there, but it would look cool. And then you have the cliffside over here. I absolutely love it love it now like i said this seed goes complete opposite right you're gonna go to the advanced side of things and i am aware that i just jumped over something and i do apologize for the frame rate but i just wanted to give you a little bird's eye view here now let's go over to what you see over here while i try to figure out why my computer is suffering you take a look you got a little village here now this village is probably one of the bigger ones i've found in a while you're gonna get plenty of loot if you're playing in survival and it's gonna be uh, quite a good start. So, other than that, other than deadly terrain generation that looks absolutely beautiful, that's all I really got to show you in this seed while my computer suffers. I'm gonna try to figure out what's going on between clips. Let me take a look. All right, we're gonna hope the problem solved. I think I may have figured it out, actually. Now, coming in at seed number six, you're gonna notice I went, I don't know. I don't know how to describe this seed. You might be able to call it an easy starter seed, but I think it would be kind of an intermediate one. You're gonna notice you have this village right here right now it does have a blacksmith right off the bat so you do get some good loot that's why maybe you can consider it a starter seed maybe i don't really know i used my hand there like you could see me i don't think it really mattered but if we take a little bit of exploration around our plains biome you're gonna notice a few cool things you do have another village over here and i'm not stuttering like crazy so i did fix the issue which is that that's solid. <laughs> You're going to have a beautiful cherry grove biome. You can hear the relief in my voice there, right? Like, I was genuinely worried. You have some beautiful mountain ranges over here. You have just an, a genuine beautiful place. Now, I don't want to go into too much detail, but what I want you guys to do is explore this plains biome. If you want, you know, I've already told you about the chunk base link, but there are so many villages, like a genuine amount of villages for you to go and explore. So if you are the explorer and I don't want to really spoil too, too much of it, go ahead, explore, find all the villages. Like I've already shown you probably five villages in this area and it looks amazing. So if you do really want to confirm click the chunk base link and you know confirm my work it's perfect it's an awesome starter seed now i thought we'd change things up a little bit with seed seven i actually have you spawning in a desert biome now this desert does actually have some pretty cool things about it you're gonna notice you have a village over here and then if we go in the opposite direction there is actually another village over here somewhere where'd it go where'd it go they blend in so well i can't find it but there is another village but where did it go? I'm genuinely confused. Don't make me look dumb. Oh my God, am I gonna look stupid? I think I'm gonna look stupid. I don't know where it is. Where did it go? Looks over at Chunk Base. Is it even there? What happened? There's a village here. There is two. I prompt, there it is. I told you there was two. Oh my 
goodness but you're gonna notice there is two villages right off the bat now the last episode i actually said there was like this weird kind of non-existent desert temple and that seems to have happened again and there was a lot of theories in the last episode where like maybe it was underground maybe there was something going on but as far as i can tell it just doesn't exist so if you guys load into this seat and find it let me know where it is in the comments let me know how you found it but you're gonna notice you do have this giant desert biome so you are gonna get the camels in these villages but the biomes surrounding you aren't all that bad either you're gonna have a a good little jungle you're gonna have a forest you're gonna have a beautiful mangrove biome over here it's just an all-around nice desert seed if you wanted to spawn into one in the first place now i get it most of you probably won't but i thought i'd throw it in there for the ones that do like look at this this is beautiful i love it now coming in at seed number eight again i went on the extreme look at this oh man what a way to turn around. I went on the extreme side of things and found you guys some beautiful mountain ranges. Now, this may not be a good seed for you to kick off Minecraft. And if you're a new player, this one might be kind of difficult, but if you wanted to explore, if you wanted to look around at what kind of generation Minecraft really has to offer, this might be the seed for you. Take a look at this beautiful mountain range, and then tucked in the little valley, you have a little forest biome. So this would be your view from your house if you built here. Absolutely beautiful i love every minute of these giant mountain biomes now in terms of features this seed does have some deep dark it has some things scattered about but nothing really noteworthy right off your spawn point so i don't <laughs> i don't really have anything to show you in that term terms i guess terminal i don't really know what i'm trying to say but you get beautiful like look at this running mountain range i get like just look at it it just snakes its way through it looks so good and i absolutely love it and then you do get a dark oak forest you get a lot of wood types right away too like this seed is all around beautiful you can tell areas that i haven't loaded in come on load in what do we got over here Ooh, you do have a village i guess <laughs> i just found it for the first time but this seed holds a lot of potential for some really cool builds at minecraft creators that are more talented than me so if you do end up using this seed good luck i, I commend you for it because i probably couldn't pull it off but this just looks beautiful i love this so much the way it snakes through looks phenomenal now coming in at seed number nine a lot of these seeds ended up being kind of survival island and it wasn't intentional they're just what i found at the time but you're gonna notice this one and i hear it already i hear the comments seed number nine you can see the land from the island yeah you can okay it is gonna load in it is here i'm not gonna pretend that it's not you can go to it if you want but if you just want a really cool survival island you get a uh, dark oak forest you get a roof forest biome and then you're gonna get a birch forest which is also kind of it's not as rare but it's it, they, these two islands alone are really interesting because they're the type of island that you don't really see spawn all that often normally it's like a plains with a forest or anything like that never really dark oak or i guess roofed forest this one's not as uncommon, but it is a little uncommon. But there you go. You get a really unique survival island. And if I see that right, you guys probably won't be able to see this. But there, oh, there is a little bit of a, or a, a what are these things called? A lush cave below it. So, yes, the island is a little bit close to the mainland. That's okay. You can still have fun on this seed. And now for the oldest of the family. Coming in at seed number 10, it is probably one of my favorite in the video. Uh, aside from the seed, I don't even remember what number it was, but you're gonna notice seed number 10 is gonna spawn you into a little bit of a, a cherry grove biome, right? But right behind the cherry grove biome is my favorite thing. You have a village going into the cherry grove, which has always, I've always loved it. Now, what makes this seed even cooler and kind of why I found it by accident and loading it in just to see what it looks like, the caves, or the, the, the village goes over this giant cave system. And you can see some of the path blocks did actually make it down here. Nothing extreme, not like there's a house down here or anything, but you do get this really cool cave basically connected to your village which looks amazing now if you wanted to go for a little bit more of an exploration type thing you make your way down here you're gonna notice that there is actually another village at the end now this seed does have a little bit 
more cherry grove biome nothing too extreme as far as i can tell it's kind of over in this direction i didn't really look at so you get a little tiny cherry grove biome that connects to kind of a cool little mountain range but other than that i love this see the village with the cave with the cherry grove it's just the perfect combination for me i love the look of it anyway guys uh, that's gonna do it for this episode here of the top 10 whoa top 10 seed series my voice almost went there if you guys are new to the channel be sure to hit that ooh, ooh, dark down here be sure to hit that subscribe button now if you guys want to help my channel if you want to help me grow here in the algorithm you can feed the algorithm monster by sending it some likes so hit that like button down below it might have lit up i don't know if i have that feature does that do something hit the like button does it glow i don't know anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys guys in the next one i'm back i'm back as a seed creator you guys have no idea what you're in for anyway guys i'll see you later this week